Hey, welcome to Arizona Barbecue Outfitters. We're doing a video today on our 2023 rotisserie smoker. I'll go over the uh, smoker, how it's fabricated, and then I'll hit the trailer. And uh, this particular smoker is all wood and does have gas assist, and I'll explain that in the video. So starting here in the front, um, we have these two stainless steel doors. We have this one-handed operation to open it. Pull the door open. There's a rotisserie system inside. It's, it's got four stations and three shelves. I'll turn it on. R rotates about two revolutions per minute. They're about 13 inches deep, about a little over 40 long. I'll pull this back closed. You just simply close it, come down here and push. It's closed up. The switch for your carousel is right here. Coming on around, so you see we have these two big dampers on it. And what we do is we put the exit port down here. That makes the smoker a lot more efficient, so the heat just doesn't go straight out the top. It hits the top, then has to work its way out the bottom. There's a the dampeners right here, then you simply move back and forth. This stainless steel box right here is the control unit for the gas. So you have your thermostat. This is your power applied, meaning it's got power to the system. And this is your limit switch. And I'll explain these two over here. So these two are those two switches, your thermostat and your limit switch. The thermostat simply sets the temperature inside the smoker. The limit switch is there for safety. In the event that the smoker gets above 450 degrees, it realizes it and it'll shut everything off, shuts off all the power to it. Coming over here, we have a Dayton four horsepower rotisserie motor that has a 600 foot pound or 600 pound overhung weight. Coming down here is a quick access door. If anything happens, you can get in there, get the meat out that might've got spilled or just clean it out in general. Down there, we have a brass one inch drain valve. So coming back to this guy, this is our gas assist system. We currently have it on. It's a Carlin gas system. It has a lot of safety features built in. So if the system fires a few times and does not light, it's going to create a fault signal, which you're going to have to reset, but it's a, it's safety. And that's what all this is about. So if it does shut down, it's, there's a reason you can come in here and reset it, figure out what, what happened. It'll give you a fault code across this display and to get it back up and running. And I'll get it turned on so you guys can see in the firebox here. So when I turn this on, this is going to call for heat. You hear the switch clicking there. The system is coming on. Where's the ignition? a 30 second purge, purge all the gas fumes in there out so the next time it lights, it lights safely. The firebox here is quarter inch steel plate. The door is 3 16 just for weight purposes. But on the door, if you didn't notice, we exit across the center there just to make sure it doesn't warp on you. <clears throat> we also have the vents across here that allow you to control the air going in and dampen in the front if you're running it strictly on wood. This is the uh, gas portion right here that supplies the other line back. And what we've done is we've hidden all wires. We have a cover that goes over that motor for rain protection or the burner assembly back there for rain protection. If you notice around the trailer, I'll go into the trailer now, you have four leveling jacks there that if you get on unlevel terrain, you can level this guy out because you don't want it to be unlevel and the shelves moving around too much inside. Um, the trailer itself, it's fabricated with three inch by three sixteenths C channel with a spine running down the middle of it that's um, two and a half inch by quarter thick tubular steel. So it's built very heavy duty, has 15 inch tires. Um, we put these little pieces here so that when you're going down the road, you can tie coolers and things down, put wood up in the front. But, um, and then going over the shell of this, which I forgot to mention, this is fabricated out of 3 16 steel plate. So the smoker all together, weight wise, about 1600 pounds all together. You're probably looking at it about 2300 pounds has a 3500 pound axle so you still have roughly seven 1200 pounds of uh of usable load on the trailer um again it's you know built heavy duty it's made in the usa made by us here at our shop we fabricated everything from the ground up if you're interested in talking about one or want to you know discuss it give us a call at 520-622-8335 we'll gladly go over everything and try and meet the needs that you have Thanks a lot for looking. Remember, buy Made in the USA and have a great day.